this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this summer recipe Instagram story clip. That's going to be the whole thing from start to finish, so please just click the timestamps in the description to go to these chapters. First up is getting the clips from a free stock footage website. There are so many out there. Here I've used vidivo.net. You can find so much stuff there if you really search for it. So go up to the search bar at the top and search for summer or summer food or something like that. Then go down and click show all clips and then only select the free clips. So right away you are only, only going to be dealing with ones that you don't have to pay for. Importantly, each of these stock footage clips, you need to credit the author or you need to check that it's the right license because sometimes you can't use it in certain situations. So check the license. Next is the music. So go up to the YouTube audio library, which does actually have some really good music. You might be surprised. Then search for something like summer again or summer, you know, chill or summer vibes, whatever. You can change the genre, change to dance and electronica. That's what I've done here. And then even change the mood as well. Open up Final Cut Pro, easy peasy, go up to the libraries, make a new one called Summer Recipes or something like that. Then go change the title of the event to Instagram Story or whatever you want to call the project and import the footage. So here we've got all of my stock footage that I just downloaded from Vidivo and the music. Click import and here we go, new project, this is the one. This is what matters, okay? So you've got to make sure that the Instagram story resolutions is set to your project. So that's 1080 by 1920. So that will be effectively a portrait orientation. First step is to go through the music and chunk it up into different sections. I've done a video about this before, which you can see by clicking in the top right now. And it's all about how a song will be divided up into different chunks that you can edit and you know, chop around with and loop. So what I'm doing here right now is finding where I can loop it, putting a marker. So that's pressing M on each time the music kind of changes, whether that's a different drum line, gets more fast, more slow. And what I'm doing here, I'll speed it up, but what I'm doing right now is finding where I can loop it and looping it to make it fit to a 15 second clip. That's the thing about Instagram story clips is they are maximum 15 seconds, okay? Now, of course, you can, in, you can upload a video longer than that, but it will split it up and divide it into multiple ones, which we don't want to do. We want to keep it clean. So let's have a listen. Nice, that sounds good to me. Cool, next bit is putting the visuals down. Okay, so this first start, I wanna match with the music going da 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 like that. So I am now finding different chunks of this smoothie clip to make a jump cut sequence, right? So a jump cut sequence in this uh, context is it's gonna be suddenly juddering ahead in time, like one or two, you know, a few frames at a time. So go, 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 like that. Yeah, there we go. So it kind of goes forward in time. The problem is, is that it's a landscape clip in a portrait orientation. So what you gotta do is go up to the top right, the inspector, go down to the scale and move that right up until it completely fills the orientation. There we go. Now what you gotta do is copy that one clip's uh, attributes and paste the attributes to the rest of the clips. So that will make all of them now fit the portrait orientation. Easy peasy. So now if you play it, it looks like that. There we go. It's a proper Instagram story clip. Easy peasy. Next part is it's still not very central. So you click the clip, go over to the position and move the X to the right, just so then it's central. And again, same concept, copy and paste the attributes to all of the clips. So that will make all of them centralized now. If you play again, there we go. It's perfect. Next chunk in this Instagram story clip is I want to really highlight the summer vibes. So I'm going to get this sunlight shining through the leaves clip. And I'm going to find where the sun suddenly bursts, like there, and put it next to the previous bits, okay? Next to the previous sequence. Now what I want to do, again, is make the clip bigger so it fits in the portrait landscape, just like I did before. 
Next, I want to kind of really highlight the sun aspect, okay? So I'm going to add this kind of light flare effect, a very, very basic one. So you get the generator, bring it down, change the color to white. So it looks like a bright flash, okay? Extend it backwards over the previous clip by a few frames, and then cut it so it just ends over the next shot as well. What you want to do then is change the opacity by going Show Video Animation. Double click the Compositing Opacity label there and then drag the fader from the left and then drag the fader from the right. So there we go, now we've got this sudden flash that kind of links the two bits together. Next I want to really match the beat of the music, the beat, 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 like that, okay? So for that, I'm going to get the blade tool by going on the tools there and pressing blade, or you can just press B, but now I'm removing the odd clips. So I've got a kind of like flashing black clip, black clip, black clip, like that. Now I don't like how the clips are such a big flash, it's quite a kind of attack on your eyeballs, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them all a bit smaller, okay? So I'm going over to the crop window and I'm cropping the first clip and I'm keyframing a point at the end of the first clip to have a kind of final crop amount, okay? So now it should look like this, like the cropping is gradually happening. Then what I'm doing is copying that crop amount to the other clips, okay? So now what it should look like is less of an attack on your eyeballs and a bit more kind of easy to see. So again, copy, paste the attributes to the others. And let's have a look from the start. There we go, so that's taken us what? 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes so far. I know I've been speeding bits up, but yeah, already on the way. Next, I wanna really kind of get back to the food aspect. So I'm going to get the ice cream clip, get another lemon clip, and then get the barbecue clip. Here, I wanna really kind of play around with the fact that it is a portrait video. At the end of the day, we shouldn't try and force it. You know, it is a portrait video. So I'm gonna line them up on top of each other, okay? For that, click one of the clips, go over to the Y value and change it up or down to make them on top of each other like that. Now, once they're timed properly, there we go, ding, 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 you've got three clips on top of each other. Perfect. Next part, I want to use this palm tree bit, but I really like the kind of movement of going through the trees. So what I don't want to do is just get rid of the movement. Instead, I'm going to spin it, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So go over to rotation, type 90, and there we go, we've still got that motion of going through. Next part, I want to add a title, because ultimately I'm assuming that this could be for a business, a brand who are trying to sell something, I don't know, whatever. So you're going to bring the text from the generators there to the palm tree clip. And I'm changing this text to summer food that I've divided up in a kind of funky way. I thought it looks kind of cool, but you know, tell me below if it looks terrible. <laughs> Changing the colours, making it look pretty. Uh, but again, I've changed the timing of this so it comes with the beat, just like before. See, that's on the beat. So this is kind of the money shot for the ending of the video, okay? So this ice cream melting thing I think looks quite cool, but it's in the wrong way round. So I put it in the timeline and then click on the timing and then click reverse. So now it looks like an ice cream is actually melting. Same thing as before, I want to rotate the clip now. So go over to rotation, type 90 degrees, and there we go. It matches the por portrait orientation, increase the scale, and it fits. Now here I'm just duplicating the text from earlier because it saves going over the generators, and I'm gonna add some text to match whatever the video is trying to do. So here it's, in my mind, it's trying to sell recipes, right? There's this company that I just made up called Ink that I just made up that logo for, it's very silly. But importantly, I'm adding some text down the bottom that says swipe up to learn more. See, that's something that Instagram stories do, is they have a link that you can swipe up to view. Use the swipe up aspect. Here I'm just making that sudden boom of text a bit more vibrant. So at the start, I'm changing the background to black and the text to white. So then on the beat, it will kind of really hit you with the color and the brightness and it will look really cool. Last part, adding some nice color, adding the saturation of everything and let's watch and see. Wow, there we go. We have just made an Instagram story video in about 
15, 20 minutes. I mean, yeah, I sped bits up, but ultimately you can follow that. Um, yeah, if that was a good video, then please let me know. Tell me down below in the comment section because I'd love to hear it. And make sure you subscribe to Jam Punch for the next tutorial next week. My name is George and I'll see you next time.